all right so here we are it's uh, December 1st 2011 let's see what we got uh, in the garden here right about now these have been in for about I don't know a week and a half two weeks now and um, what it is it's our our winter garden basically um, let's see what's struggling here uh, some Swiss chard right the neon light Swiss chard but as you can see this little leaf here it's starting to grow come back uh, I guess transplant shock or something but I happened to a couple of the lettuces as well and I, yeah I had to buy these plants um, one of the larger big box stores I guess everyone calls them I don't know <laughs> Lowe's that's the one I like I go to Lowe's but uh, yeah here's some just some standard bib lettuce but you can see right here in the back this one's struggling um, the other ones are doing okay and I'm going on it's been three days since I lightly watered them and I'm pushing that because it's supposed to rain and so I'm kind of waiting on that but um, and then here's some cabbage getting into uh, making sauerkraut and fermented foods now so I want to plant a lot of that here in the garden and here is uh, some beets and then here is some broccoli gotta have broccoli here here is another cabbage in the front, and oh, I'm sorry. You know what? These are the beets. Right. Well, what is that? Yeah, I guess so. Beet there. This is actually um, red cabbage. Yeah. So this row here is red cabbage, and that's the beet. I thought I had three of those beets. Um, and then over here is uh, some cauliflower. Snow Crown is the name of that. So they should fill this corner in with guys. And check this out. This is our this is going on over a year perennialized. Perennialized, I guess you say. But uh, that is pretty cool. And here's a little offshoot of the Lisbon tree. It's not dead, but uh, <laughs> it's not growing too quick. But a couple of new leaves. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this. This is a smaller garden that I have. And uh, let me show you the other side then real quick. All right, so here's um, the other side of the garden. Little rain, or uh, wine barrel. Yeah, next to the rain barrel here. But um, not really doing much in here. I'm gonna wait until the, uh, uh, I don't know, March or so. But uh, I had to throw these guys in, I love them. They look cool. And the big old white onion. That was a cool little project. We just threw them here, halfway in the soil. Didn't even really bury them. Kind of pushed them in. And jeez, uh, doing awesome. It's really doing cool. And you can see. So we've been nibbling on these two for a while. And then uh, that worked so well. Did the same thing with <laughs> an a red onion right here. And uh, yeah, just starting to to break out here. Make some nice, uh, tasty shoots there. And then this is garlic. And this is some shallots that I had planted already. They're just sort of waking up now. I've been uh, eating on those for a while too. And that uh, jalapeno pepper still hanging on. Pretty, uh, pretty nice sized peppers for being covered by this massive eggplant here. And uh, actually a trellising eggplant, <laughs> if you could believe that. There's a flower right there too, but uh, yeah, it goes across this top wire, and uh, here's another one. Just picked three of them off about a week ago. That's a nice little guy here. Another one. But uh, yeah, it's massive, so where's the root on this guy? The stalk. That's big. About maybe an inch and a half around. But I got all this hay piled up here. And uh, this is where I've planted a few things. And let me see if I can remember what it was here. I know I did a lot of garlic. And, uh, okay, bok choy. And we did some um, peas along the back there. I found this, I think it was from like a dog kennel or something, you know. Uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. But yeah, it was like a little playpen for a dog, small dog. Found that. And uh, so hopefully they'll 
the wire will trellis up that to this wire if they get that all that tall about two and a half feet that's what they're supposed to produce too but uh, let's see what else and then I think I just had some lettuce too there's a cabbage I had one left over and then uh, I had some extra lettuce as well let's see oh here um, globe artichoke on the second year so we're supposed to get a little bit more production out of it and we got three I think three or four last year and they're real good healthy size but yeah this one got uh, two a lettuce doing doing okay the other ones yeah, four kinda bit the dust this one might come back yeah, this one might come back but these two here even that one might come back I might have just uh, neglected the water a little too long being brand new transplants and then uh, of course this is the old pepper the old pepper plant getting beat up I put uh, I don't know if you can see, got a little kind of a shade over the old garden hutch here, and it sort of was whipping, whipping this pepper plant, and uh, so it kind of got beat up here on the side. But um, he's on his third year, he's still hanging in strong. Serrano pepper, so they're in here too. These guys camouflage really well. You start picking around, poking around, and you start seeing them. A little bit bigger ones, smaller ones. Oh yeah, here we go. There you go. So those taste real good in salsa. And then just the occasional garlic, just for fun. Throw it around. Um, these little circles. I think I threw some broccoli in here. And we got, um, oh, spinach. This is our Anaheim pepper. I really neglected the peppers. Uh, I feel bad about that. Uh, Anaheim peppers, of course, big A. But uh, just the wind. The summer was just so hot. Never really made it back on the side here much. Um, but it's it's starting to produce now. I mean, these look good. I got some red ones on here. But uh, yeah, I, I let the wind beat it up real bad. So I should have came out and uh, so it's it's all real straggly looking real stringy looking so and then here we got this winter and it got cold real quick so it's probably gonna be a, a cold winter but uh, yeah you know going on this third year that's what they say and they're good to about three years replant them so we might do that I don't know let me step back show you this big trough kind of a bed I got grapes and peppers in here but I decided to open up the whole bottom and uh, just plant all inside there so, this is uh, some more shallots. I don't know if you could see that. Some more shallots popping up from a while back. Um, but then here's where the compost is all laid out, homemade compost. That was cool to do. Um, we've got a bunch of garlic in there. Just for funsies, just to play around. And the grapevines are heading out going dormant. Here's a jalapeno. A big guy still, you know. That's uh, about, I don't know, almost 65 inches in height. But, like I said, the wind just beat the heck out of them. Producing a lot of peppers, so that's not a problem. It's just, uh, I don't know. I should have took better care of it. This is the one. Now, this is the tough guy here. This is where he broke and calloused over. And it's just hanging on. It loves it here. But look at that. It got broken in a windstorm. I made a video on it a while back when it happened. Or when I first spotted it. And uh, God, isn't it prolific? I mean, this is huge. That break did, didn't do any... any it didn't stunt it at all, you know. It's just producing like never before. Very resilient, you know. So, yeah. And the peppers are... They're hot. They might look a little small, but I'm telling you, I know it sounds funny, but even one this small, you get like three or four in some salsa, uh, you know, like with, uh, I don't know, what you call it, single serving size, oh, uh, half an onion, you know, a couple tomatoes, you know, something you would eat, you know, sitting down at dinner or something, three of these guys, and uh, it's almost too hot. 
Okay, another grape here. He's dormant now. That's where the garlic is. And this is our final jalapeno. And pretty tall. Used to be the tallest one. But, uh, yeah, something wind burn, maybe, possibly old age. I don't know. It's just not looking, not looking too well. But, you know, then on other, other parts, I got some pretty tasty peppers. And it's getting a little full down here, so I don't know. It might just be old age. Like I said, uh, I didn't spend enough time out here in the summer. It was a brutal summer. Uh, Record-breaking days, you know, almost every day, even in August. And, uh, you know, then we got about two weeks of actual fall weather. And it went right into winter, freezing cold. Man. So, but that's the plan. Bunch of garlic and, and spinach. And uh, so we're just going to do something kind of, not kind of, uh, I don't know how do you say not going to put too much effort into the winter garden. Uh, we're going to kind of concentrate on, uh, you know, springtime here. But uh, we got to do something, so we figured out, let's do the cold weather and uh, the cold season vegetables and get that cabbage and start doing some sauerkraut fermentation. So that's what we're kind of concentrating on mostly right now. But uh, keep you updated and uh, say goodbye with this massive eggplant here.